Parable about the Sailor, Savior, and the Promised Land by Matthew the Apostle Written down by Anna Zukova Edited by Dr. Vladimir Antonov Narrated in English by Keenan Murphy Sea Cadets of the Great Light, Daughters and Sons of God, Fill your sails with the fair wind, And live your lives on the crest of a wave. Do not stray from the right course that God will indicate to you. Find his shining eternal abode. From the Diary of the Sea Cadet, Claire Ocean waves were rising and falling gently. A sailing vessel named Savior was flying over the vast expanse of the sea. Its sails filled with a fair wind were carrying it like white wings to those who need help. A girl with hair fluttering in the wind was running down the road to the sea. She was being chased. In the distance, the clouds of dust raised by armed horsemen were already visible. The name of the girl was Claire. She realized that there was no hope for salvation. The pursuers would catch her, and in that chase she would be forced to marry a villain with whom she would never be able to live. And then she would have nothing to do but to die. The sea spread out before her, but all of a sudden she saw a sailor near birth. Its name was Savior. The hope for which just a moment ago there were no grounds suddenly warmed her like a sunray. Claire ran into a nearby tavern and asked for a room. There she resolutely cut her beautiful long hair disguised herself as a man, and went to the sailor. The latter was preparing to sail, and the gunmen were already searching for her in the tavern, shouting, She should be here somewhere. She couldn't have run far away. As soon as Claire got to the deck, the captain gave an order to sail, and Savior headed for the open sea. The captain did not ask Claire a single question, but she felt that his calm and attentive eyes saw everything. So Claire herself came to him and told him her story. Don't be afraid, he answered. This ship is protected by God. You are out of danger. But when the time comes to accept death, don't be afraid either. It is nothing because life doesn't end with the death of the body. We'll talk about this later. Now it would be good for you to have a rest. You can stay here as long as you wish, or you can go ashore whenever you want to. Savior continued its way. Claire admired more and more the life of those sailors. The captain and his crew were like brothers in a good family whose head was God. And everything that they did and spoke about was lit up with his invisible presence and guidance. They rescued those who were in danger. And while doing this, they acted so fast and pronounced words so unexpected that people of evil had no time to react and stop them. It was also important that the crew never shed blood. They never used the weapons that they had with them. Sometimes they put in to shore, and then the captain spoke for a long time with the inhabitants of those places about God, faith, and everything that is good. These conversations were unusual. The captain, for example, talked about Jesus in a way 
that all the listeners could see everything that had happened in those times, as if with their own eyes, and could hear the words of Jesus addressed as if directly to them. The captain also talked about the resurrection of Jesus. He always spoke as if each one of the listeners was the witness of those events, and right here and now had to make a choice, to accept or not the teachings of Christ. People were listening in deep silence, and the captain kept relating. There were people around Jesus who followed him faithfully, but there were also those who did not believe him and mocked him. There were many unbelievers, both when he was teaching and when he resurrected. Neither sermons from God nor miracles can cure the lack of faith of many perverted souls. But only those who are following this path approach closer and closer to him. How many people now say over and over again, I believe, but do not follow his teachings even slightly. And sometimes they even commit crimes and deceive, using his name as a cover. In contrast to this, others fulfill his teachings. They try to live as he taught, and Jesus abides in their hearts. Many people who listen to the captain tried thereupon to follow the teachings of God in their lives. And a new life began for every one of them. It was so because the one who lives with God in one's heart becomes another person, a transformed person. And his or her old destiny then also changes for the better. Sometimes it happened that a person came out of the multitude of the listeners and said, Take me with you. Then the captain answered at times, Very well, follow us. In this way, the crew of Savior got new members. Once, the sailor dropped anchor near a small island. Claire perceived it as a paradise. A settlement was covered with flowers of fragrant gardens and people with faces illuminated by happiness went to meet newcomers. The captain said to Claire, This is the promised land, a paradise on our planet. You can stay and live here if you want. In this place, the families of many members of my crew live, and many of those whom we saved stayed here too. This island was uninhabited when we found it. It doesn't belong to any governor. A person who enters this land takes a vow to live according to the commandments of love for God, for neighbors, and for the whole creation. And everyone who lives in such a way becomes here an inhabitant of paradise. But even those who do not live just here on this island, but where evil and violence reign, can also become the inhabitants of paradise. For this, it is important just to keep that vow which unites in mutual love man and God. And we should try to help people to understand that our entire planet can also turn into the promised land. The vow that I have mentioned is the vow of love. Not everyone who wants to can become a member of the crew of Savior. Since it is not time for everyone to leave all worldly desires and turn into the apostle of God, but anyone can become an inhabitant of paradise, since anyone can develop one's heart love. Let people live according to the laws of God transforming themselves into love and giving the state all around. In this case, they will not live their lives in vain. Anyone who will live according to the laws of love 
will be able to create a new space of the promised land around oneself. And if all the people of the earth fulfilled this, the whole planet would turn into the promised land. Claire said, The paradise created by you on this island is beautiful, but I beg you to let me be a sea cadet on Savior and save others with you. Let me share my destiny with you. Well, sea cadet Claire, you can follow me. We'll raise the sails and go on the journey again to save people from the hell that they carry inside themselves and spread around, committing unrighteous and evil deeds. We will live to multiply the forces of light and love in this world. Once, the sea cadet Claire asked the captain, Tell me, why do we so often save the poor and slaves? but none of those who have power in this world want to be saved from hell. The captain answered, I would save princes and kings gladly, but they do not know that they need salvation and that they themselves could save even their whole countries. It is very difficult to save those people who do not know about their trouble. It is difficult to give a drink of water to the one who does not want to drink. Only those who are hungry or thirsty are ready to eat or drink. At that, people should not live only on food for their bodies, but yearn for light, freedom, and love. And for this very purpose, we are traveling on Savior, to bring at least some light of knowledge to every corner on the earth. This is our service. Only that one can become similar to Jesus, who carries love and knowledge about God to all people. In the evenings or mornings, in calm weather, the captain spoke with his crew about the higher knowledge and about how to obtain the divine love. He said, There is the straight path that leads from paradise or the promised land, to the abode of the Creator. Yet this course can be followed only by those who love the Heavenly Father above all. He is boundless and infinite. He embraces with His love His whole creation. And all the inhabitants of the earth are surrounded by His calm and gentle light of love. The Heavenly Father always feels everyone inside Himself. To become such persons as God teaches us, we should learn to embrace with our heart light all the space visible to us. And we also should learn to embrace, to cherish, and to caress gently with ourselves as love, all the living. The ocean that carries our sailor is similar to the ocean of living light of the primordial consciousness, or the Creator, who has been everywhere and always. Love for Him will help one to learn to embrace that divine living light. And then, the gates of the abode of our Heavenly Father will be opened. Ocean waves were rising and falling gently. Savior was gliding with all sails set to the rising sun. Its way lay among the continents and islands of the earth to bring people the knowledge about God and the meaning of their lives on the earth. The captain started teaching the sea cadet to maintain the course to the abode of the Creator.